This, uh, this guitar was made in 1910. It belonged to my grandmother. It's the guitar that she played when she was a little girl. And she gave it to me when I was about 12 years old, and it's the guitar that I learned how to play on. And for a large part of my life, I think I had this guitar with me everywhere that I went. I, I carried it on the farm back in Oklahoma and on wheat harvest. I got hit over the head with it once in a lumber camp up in Washington State. I, <laughs> this crack right along here, if you can see it. A fellow was not a Hank Williams fan at all. <laughs> anyway, about uh, a little over five years ago, I, I lost the guitar, and it was, it was kind of a sad occasion to me. And the strange thing is that just about the time that it got to be okay with me that I had lost it, I found it again. And uh, this was last January when we were filming our last television special. And I was, I can't really tell you how thrilled I was about getting it back. I, I, I literally, I couldn't wait to get back to the hotel where I was staying at here in Los Angeles and just sit down and, and be with the guitar again and, and play it, you know? And I did that. I got back to the hotel and we, we got very comfortable. I told it all that had happened to me since the last time I'd seen it. <laughs> It told me a few stories. But somewhere in the conversation, we found this song. This old guitar taught me to say Showed me how to laugh and how to cry. It introduced me to some friends of mine and brightened up some days. It helped me make it through some lonely nights. Oh, what a friend to have. Sing my songs for you. 